Pineapple University is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hakshop.com. Hello and welcome to Pineapple University. I'm Darren Kitchen and in this video we're going to demonstrate how to set up internet connection sharing in Windows on your Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V. So seeing that your Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V is in fact a wireless access point, one of the things that you most likely want to do with it is provide clients that connect to it with internet access. And so one of the easiest ways to achieve this is directly connected over this ethernet cable to your machine. And we're going to demonstrate right now on how to do that in Windows and that's actually very simple. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I already have my browser set up here and I'm connected to the Wi-Fi Pineapple at 172.16.42.1 on port 1471. And one of the easiest ways to check for internet access is under this network info here. I can actually see all of the configuration of my different interfaces. But if I go back and just hit this close right there, I can see that I have the option to show my internet IP address. If you do that, it's going to go ahead and query wifipineapple.com and let you know what your address is. If I click show right now, it's going to error out because I don't actually have a connection to the internet. Now this is because the Wi-Fi Pineapple in its current state is looking for an internet connection coming from the IP address 172.16.42.42. And if I open up my command prompt here and do IP config, scroll up some over here, you'll see that by DHCP I, was, uh, I received an IP address from the Pineapple as 172.16.42.195. So all we have to do is share our internet connection and then set up a static IP address with the pineapple. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm in Windows 7 here. I'm going to go ahead and open my network connection and sharing center and go over to change adapter settings. And the first thing I'll want to do is go to, in this case, my internet facing uh, adapter, which for me is a wireless network connection. Now this could be a 3G, 4G modem, uh, this could be another Ethernet, whatever your interface is for your uh, internet on the, your Windows machine, you'll want to right click on that and hit properties. Then go over to the sharing tab and check this box that says allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Select which connection we want them to be able to, to go through. So in this case, it's the local area connection because that's what I am directly connected to by my Ethernet cable to the pineapple. So now anything connected over the local area connection will go out through, in this case for me, my wireless connection. So I click OK. And it sets it up in a way that for most cases will be correct. However, we do need to make a quick change and that is to set our IP address to a different uh, number. So we, what we do in this case is right click on our local area connection. Again, that's the Ethernet connection directly connected to our Wi-Fi Pineapple. We hit properties. We scroll down here to the IP version 4 tab and hit properties. And you'll see that it automatically added in 192.168.1371. Let's get rid of that and replace it with 172.16.42.42. We can leave our subnet as 255.255.255.0 and we don't need a default gateway. We would like to provide our uh, clients to the Wi-Fi Pineapple with a DNS server and so I like to go with Google's at 8.8.8.8 because it's easier to remember. We click OK and we click Close. Now at this point I can come back over to my Wi-Fi Pineapple web interface. I'm going to go ahead and refresh it. And from this small network tile, I'll go ahead and click Show. And now I have the public IP address that I'm connected at through this computer. This is great, actually, because now any client that connects to the Wi-Fi Pineapple will now be provided internet access through my Windows machine, which actually can be very useful if what you're trying to do is analyze network traffic because I could fire up you know, Wireshark on this or another you know, packet analyzer and actually see the traffic going through. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that this is working on the client side. I actually have another laptop here and I'm going to connect it to the Pineapple's wireless network. 
So on my Ubuntu machine, if I come down here to wireless connections and I choose the access point pineapple5 underscore and the last two octets of this MAC address. If you look at the bottom of your Wi-Fi pineapple on the sticker here, it's going to note the MAC address and the last two octets will correspond to the default SSID, the name of the network that's going to show up by default. We'll change that later. So at this point, I just choose pineapple5. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a command prompt here and do if config, and in this case WLAN2, and I'll see here that this machine was now assigned an IP address of 172.16.42.223. And if I see if I'm online by, say, pinging 8.8.8.8, .8 I'm going to go ahead and get replies. So that's setting up internet connection sharing for the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V with Windows. It's that simple. Now I hope to see you all at uni.wifipineapple.com. That's where you can find more videos like these, as well as other lessons and links to the forums and the chat room. I'll see you there. And until then, class dismissed.